Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for spending some time with me tonight. I really appreciate you. And let's talk about these baits that sometimes work in the pre-spawn, spawn, and post-spawn when nothing else will. Now, as much as I like to throw a Cinco, a wacky rig, or maybe rig it up Texas style, it just doesn't always work. And I really dealt with this last weekend in a big tournament. I typically always catch them on Gunnersville with those baits. And for whatever reason, They've just either seen too many, it just wasn't working in the situation that we had. So there are times like that, you know, that's going to happen to you. And there's a couple other really good baits that are completely different than a wacky rig or a Texas style Cinco or a any type of soft plastic you're going to fish on the bottom. And that is a Smithwick Rogue. Now, this is a bait that is going to be fished really slow, perfect for bedding fish. You're going to cast it out. You're going to let it sit. You're going to give it a couple twitches. It's going to and it's going to come right back up to the surface. And for whatever reason, on spawning fish when other baits just don't work, or maybe you're catching little ones on those other baits, the Smithwick Rogue is just a very important lure that you should know if you're fishing around spawning bass. Now, this is a great tool to cover water if you are also looking for fish that may be on the beds. If you're fishing a bait where you gotta be paying attention to it all the time, it's really hard to use that while you're looking around for spawning fish. You know, you really gotta keep your eyes on the water 24 seven and you can't be dealing with, you know, where's my line, where's my bait? Oh, there it is, okay. A rogue or like a devil's horse, you know, any type of prop bait. But these baits where you can fish them real slow and all you basically gotta do is twitch, twitch, and the fish kind of hook themselves. You know, you don't got to be worried about setting the hook, know exactly where your bait's at, where the fish may be, and then set the hook. They're just on there. And it's killing two birds with one stone. You can be looking and have all your concentration on bedding fish while still picking up an occasional five pounder with the Smithwick Rogue. So a really great tool for that. And one other bait, this time of year, you know, we're now in mid-April. The trees are just blooming their their leaves are coming in the foliage is just exploding and the same thing is happening on the lake the hydrilla the milfoil whatever type of vegetation you have in your lake is just exploding and it seems like the grass that's been maybe a foot off the bottom has now come to three or four feet off the bottom in no time that water's warm it's fertile everything is growing in a great bait to fish over the top of that is a one minus this is a man's one minus chartreuse black back great bluegill imitator but this would be a color that i would throw on a real cloudy day but a one minus man's one minus not too big you know a great imitator chartreuse black back a bluegill right now is when the bluegill are going to start spawning you know you have post spawn pre-spawn and spawning bass and you also have a bluegill spawn going on so a one minus is one of those baits that you know it's not a square bill it's not a chatter bait but you can fish it almost exactly how you fish those baits it's just going to be a little more efficient when that grass really starts to grow you're not going to be fighting the grass all day you're just going to be waking it above the grass and there's something about post spawn bass water column becomes extremely important and there's something about right underneath the surface not top water but right underneath the surface you know when you're you're swimming your jig and you're shaking it you're doing the alabama shake and you're right under the surface that one minus is going to be catering to those same fish so a one minus really good bait right now wake bait and if you don't get all the bites you will expose a lot of big fish you're gonna get a lot of followers as well so a one minus is another great tool this time of year in the post spawn and both of these baits are baits that the fish just don't see a whole lot so try those a smithwick rogue and a man's one minus great baits in april and the fish don't see them a whole lot so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the water